Hi, in this video I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install OpenSprinkler. Before we start, please note that OpenSprinkler is not waterproof. If you need to install it outdoors, please use a waterproof enclosure. OpenSprinkler is a drop-in replacement for conventional sprinkler controllers. Whether you are installing a new controller or replacing an existing one, the wiring is pretty standard. You have the 24 volt AC sprinkler transformer wires, a common wire, and one or more zone or station wires. Depending on your setup, you may also have a master zone wire or a pump start relay wire, um, and rain sensor wires if you have a rain sensor installed. If you are replacing an existing controller, take time to label your wires before removing them. To install OpenSprinkler, first unplug the orange terminal on the left. Insert the 24 volt AC sprinkler transformer wires and use a screwdriver to tighten the screws. AC has no polarity, so the two wires have no distinction. Next, insert the common wire to the common terminal. There are two holes on the common terminal, and you can use either one of them. Again, use a screwdriver to tighten the screws. Similarly, insert the zone wires into the corresponding zone terminal. If you have a pump station or a master zone, you can insert that wire into any of the eight zone ports. OpenSprinkler uses software-defined master zone, so any of the eight zones here can be assigned as a master zone. If you have a rain sensor, insert its two wires into the rain sensor terminal. Again, there's no distinction between the two wires. If you have OpenSprinkler zone expansion boards, take out the zone extension cable. Plug one end of the cable into the OpenSprinkler's expansion out connector. The connector is polarized, so there's only one way to plug it in. And then insert the other end to the zone expansion board's uh, port that's marked in. If you have multiple zone expansion boards, you can daisy chain them similarly by linking the out connector port to the next in connector port. OpenSprinkler is a web-based sprinkler controller. It allows you to access the controller using a standard browser or our OpenSprinkler mobile app. To get it connected to your home router, there are several options. You can use a wired Ethernet cable to link OpenSprinkler directly to your home router. Or you can use a power line adapter or a pocket size Wi-Fi adapter to create wireless connections. For details, please check the user manual or our support page for the wireless connection tutorial video. Now turn on OpenSprinkler. Once it's powered on, the LCD screen will display the current time and the zone status. If you have defined a master zone, it will be marked by the letter capital M. Any zone that's currently running will be animated on the LCD screen. A rain icon will appear if rain is detected or rain delay is activated. A microSD card icon will appear if a microSD card has been installed inside the controller. The button functions are as follows. If you click each button, B1 displays the controller's IP address and port number. B2 displays the router's IP address. And B3 toggles between the main controller and each expansion board that you have installed. Now if you press and hold each button, B1 will stop all current running zones. So it's basically like an emergency stop function. And B2 will reboot the controller. And B3 allows you to start 
a program manually on the controller. This includes either a quick test program or any of the existing programs. Now you can access OpenSprinkler with a standard web browser or using our OpenSprinkler mobile app. For instructions on how to use the firmware, please check our firmware tutorial video. If you need to reset the controller to factory default settings, turn off the controller, then press and hold the first button B1 while turning the controller back on until you see the reset all message. Click B1 or B2 to select uh, yes and then press and hold B3 until the controller restarts and finishes resetting. That's it. So that's all about the hardware setup. For additional details, please refer to the OpenSprinkler user menu or our online support page at www.opensprinkler.com. Thanks for watching this video.